let's take a look now at one of the ways that you can start branching out as a more experienced researcher. We're going to leave the realm of the library website and head out onto the internet, the open web, and we're going to take a look at open access journals. When you did the level one tutorial for research skills for psychology, you learned about the different kinds of sources that are out there for using to do research. We talked about how there's books, newspapers, statistics, magazines, websites, and academic journals. And what we did was we focused on the academic journals part of it um, and, and emphasized how important these specifically were in the research process. And we're going to continue doing that now, but I want to add a little bit of complexity to the issue. So when we're talking about academic journals, just as a refresher, we talked last time about how different researchers who work at different universities across the world each do different research in a field of study and how the papers that they write are their way of communicating with one another so that they can all learn from each other's research and um, continue developing in the field. For, th for the most part, academic journals are published either by universities or by relatively large companies that, that make money off of publishing, so like publishing houses. Um, so for example, some journals might be published by a university, like University of British Columbia. Other ones might be published by an academic publisher that has a name like Wiley is an example, Sage is an example, Elsevier is an example. These are all examples of traditional publishing companies that have been around for a very long time and that for the most part publish academic journal articles and books as well, but academic journal articles specifically. Now, when you search in PsycInfo, for the most part, what you're finding is you're finding articles that were published in this traditional method. However, there's also another type of journal that's called open access. And open access, the idea behind that is that it kind of cuts out the traditional publisher and instead, it involves this sort of like open and free sharing of information on the web. Open access journals are a really great thing to know about if you're doing research at a more intermediate level because it expands out your options for what you can access. So I'll take you um, onto the computer and I'll show you some different examples of places where you can go to find open access journals that are not part of this traditional publishing model.